Hi there, my name is Gent and in this video I will explain to you how a piezoelectric pressure sensor works and what these tiny sensors are used for. Here we can see a piezoelectric pressure sensor. The core material of this sensor is a crystal, such as quartz. Crystals have the property that they generate an electrical charge under mechanical stress. The generated charge is thereby proportional to the applied force or pressure. This effect is commonly known as the piezoelectric effect. The required piezoelectric measurement elements are cut out of the crystal in different shapes and orientations, depending on the sensor characteristic needed. I will use the sensor model for a better explanation of the structure and the function of a piezoelectric pressure sensor. The pressure to be measured is transmitted via the diaphragm as a proportional force to the piezo crystals. In the sensor type shown, a helical shaped spring contacts the metal coated crystal surface which acts as an electrode and carries the electrical charge to the connector. The electrical charge generated by a piezoelectric sensor is in the order of a few picocoulombs only. This tiny little charge needs to be converted by a charge amplifier into a voltage signal which can then be processed by a data acquisition system. Due to their high natural frequency, piezoelectric pressure sensors can be used for a wide range of applications, where dynamic pressure changes with very fast pressure rise times down to 1 microseconds must be measured. Some of these applications with dynamic pressure changes include the testing of pyrotechnical devices, such as airbag components, or shockwave physics, such as shock tubes and blast waves. In addition, piezoelectric pressure sensors are the first choice for measuring very small pressure changes at high static pressure level. The piezoelectric technology enables long-term measurement of very small pressure pulsations with high resolution and excellent signal-to-noise ratio for a frequency range of over 100 kHz. Applications where these properties are of crucial importance are, for instance, the qualifications of water turbine and ship propeller models or combustion instabilities in gas turbines and rocket engines. Due to their operating principle, piezoelectric pressure sensors with charge output indicate a small drift when a static pressure is applied. This drift limits the measuring time in which static pressure can be measured with this technology. This is why piezoelectric pressure sensors with charge output are considered suitable for measuring quasi-static pressure, but not true static pressure. By contrast, sensors based on the piezoresistive principle operate largely drift-free. However, piezoelectric pressure sensors are the preferred choice for measuring quasi-static pressures in applications requiring sensors with compact design or measurements at cryogenic or high temperatures over 125 degrees C. As already mentioned earlier, piezoelectric pressure sensors are connected to a charge amplifier, which converts the charge generated by the sensor into a voltage signal. If the charge amplifier is an external device, it is referred to as a charge output or PE sensor. If the electronic circuit is integrated into the sensor housing, then it's referred to as a voltage output or IEP sensor. Depending on the application, piezoelectric pressure sensors with charge or voltage output may be suitable. All of the provided information and much more can be found in our T&M pressure catalog. And for further questions, please do not hesitate to contact us.